What's the deal, y'all? This your man, King Gary, the media assassin, coming at y'all with another video. Be sure to subscribe and the like button for me. I want to talk about Warren G for this video here. I want to talk about why I feel that Warren G does not get the credit that he properly deserves. Now, what made me want to do this video was I seen a Breakfast Club interview that Snoop did a while back, and he talked about he wrote like 80, 70 to 80 percent of Warren G's Regulate album. And I thought that's not the type of information you want to put out there if that was the case, number one. And number two, that's totally disgenuous to do to dismiss Warren G's talent on a public platform like that. And I don't like when Snoop does things like that at times. I mean, because, you know, these guys are talented on their own. But you would think with the guys that came out of Long Beach at that time, like Domino, we talking Lil Half Dead, Snoop, Warren G, they all had that same laid back, singy song type flow, that laid back cool flow. So Warren was just, just basically off that style. He was just basically cut off that style right there. And another thing, too, just like I mentioned a while back, he should get more credit for saving Def Jam from going under. We ain't talk about the 1998 where they had the renaissance where DMX, Ja Rule, Jay-Z all came over there. But we talk about 94, 95, where they didn't have any hit records. And it wasn't until on one that was putting the hit record with Method Man. Red Man was doing the dark there the dark side shit, but it was turning a lot of people off. Like people thought red it went weird. But Warren G regulate alone that G Funk album just with two million sales. It pretty much took Def Jam away from the red. And not to mention, Warren is a very talented producer on his own. Now, I'm going to tell you this. I did not look really like take a look over your shoulder. I felt he just put that album together just so he could get off Def Jam, it seemed like to me. But I want it all. Y'all need to check that album out. And Return of the Regulator. I want it all is dope. And see, another thing that was very interested about Warren G is people don't know that him and Dr. Dre are stepbrothers and it's very odd that Dre don't do anything with Warren I found that very odd like he never really vouched for him to even sign Snoop which was crazy but Warren definitely deserves his flowers and I could tell even looking at that response he was hurt by that by what Snoop said but see Snoop I mean see Warren kind of like He's a cool brother, and I think that's why they sometimes say those things to him. They know he's going to probably just not really retaliate. Not saying because he's no bitch. He's not no softy. But they probably figured that they can't say nothing bad about Snoop because, you know, Snoop is the face of Long Beach. He's one of the kings of the West Coast. He don't want that type of look to go at Snoop. And he'd be seen upon as a peon. But at the same time, it was just wrong. I felt it was wrong on Snoop to, you know, to bring that up to very pretty much diminish, diminish Warren G's talent. Because Warren is a talented individual. That G Funk Regulate album was fire. So that's my take on it right there, man. Warren G definitely deserves his flowers. I would love to have it have Warren G on the, on the show. I would love to have an interview with him. So we could definitely line that up, hopefully. So if anybody know Warren G, tell him I want him on the show. So this is King Eric signing out. Peace.